uh, yeah. in the interim. So um, let's start with this Ivan Tony story. It looked like Saudi was all done and dusted, more or less. But Chelsea are in the mix. They're saying nothing about it. Brentford aren't saying anything about it. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next few hours. Yeah, um, it has come out. I think we've done it on our website as well that there's been an inquiry. I put my my info is that it's going to be a really difficult one for Chelsea to do. I think their expectations is a low fee and probably quite low wages, um, given given kind of what they're doing with their structure at the moment and paying people over a long period of time. So I can see that one being a really difficult one to do, and that they that the, the Saudi one. Um, it's still got a couple of days to to get done. Okay, well that will be interesting. Mm, Liverpool yeah, yeah. sound like it could be busy in the last few days. Mamadashvili, the young goalkeeper we saw in the uh, Euros, Chiesa as well. Is yeah, it, Federico yeah, yeah, yeah. Chiesa. They, they, I mean, hawked around always sounds a bit of a sort of th- terrible thing to say, but it looked like they were trying to find home for Chiesa, and one or two people around Europe and in the Premier League didn't bite. But it seems that. Um, um, yeah, that Liverpool are keen, although there are still some concerns about whether he's really come back properly from that that knee injury he had season before last. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, the player that we saw at the not the last Euros, Euros before was is one that I think many Premier League clubs would take on. But like uh, like you said earlier, I think Spurs were really quite quite quick to distance themselves from a potential deal earlier in the summer. However, I think I think Liverpool. You know they have been very quiet in the in the window. I think the keeper would obviously be one for the future, not for this season, um, because they've still got Allison um, and maybe Chiesa would be you know would be quite just one to freshen up. I think you know they they, they couldn't get the they couldn't get their number one target in midfield, but you know one to freshen up their front line. They don't. I mean they've obviously got quality throughout there, but I think it might be one just to give them just to give them an extra option it doesn't seem a lot of money does it yeah, is, 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 is he getting injured quite a lot or is that me no just no no it was, it was two that. years ago he had a bad knee injury right. cruciate and he didn't really look the same player last year but it, maybe it's just taken him a while to find his rhythm he can get as much game time and when he's on it he's absolutely oh, yeah, yeah. brilliant he's such a great player so I'm sure Liverpool will be doing all the background checks on that um, now there was a, um, we understand in Ketia to Palace is inching nearer and there was a story today suggesting Odson Edouard could be heading back to um, Celtic potentially yeah that, that I think that would open up for a return to to Celtic for Odson if uh, you know I think it's not an if now I think Nketia is heading towards Palace and that um, they've they've got Probably uh, an attack that they want for the season there, um, uh, Oliver Glasner and, and Odson. I think that makes sense for him uh, to probably fi- try and find another club. And, and and Celtic really does make sense where he had success before he moved to yeah. the Premier League. A uh, couple of stories about James Ward-Prowse uh, today, suggesting that um, Forrest might try and uh, sign him before Friday. Though West Ham, I don't think we're in any particular rush to sell him but if the right offer comes in they've signed just a few they spent some money yeah, haven't they he's so, yeah. going to be affected uh, by the, some of the new blood that's coming at West Ham yeah it's uh, yeah he hasn't um, he hasn't featured much this season and you think that you know under Lopetegui he might be able to you know he might get a move somewhere I think he was he's on a pretty long term deal um, if I remember correctly from his move from Southampton um, and the only thing with I think Forrest have been linked with him as we've seen in the last 24 hours and 48 hours it's really difficult with Forrest even when you think one's absolutely nailed on like um, like Eddie and Ketia there's a U-turn on it and I think the same is with Jimenez as well um, from from Holland um, there's some expectation he was going to fly over, but now that deal looks off. So with Forrest, I think you know you've got to expect the unexpected. You know, you know exactly what you're getting with Ward Prowse, don't you? That's yeah. the thing. If 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 he's the the, the peg that fits that right. hole, then yeah. I think Chris would have been looking forward to those corners well, coming yeah, into the Chris box, wouldn't he? Yeah. Really. Um, Kingsley Coman. This, I mean, who knows? It could be a bit of a late rush. He'll keep apparently been saying that um, he could be available in this window and I'm sure he'd attract some Premier League clubs it's, but I wonder how complicated that would be to get him out in, in the time that's left it is a it is a really you know he's a he's a club that he's a player that has been linked with Premier League clubs in the past um, before by Munich I think Saudi Arabia makes sense for that one to happen for him um, but I'm sure there are 
I'm sure there'll be a, a couple of others in Europe as well, but I've been told to kind of look out for Saudi on that one. He's only 28. It would just mm. be, it would feel such a waste, you know, the guy who's still got a lot left to, to offer, but, you know, I'm sure the money is daft. Um, and uh, ins and outs at um, Brighton. Uh, Karioglu, it looks like that's going to be happening now. The Turkish international, um, that's a possibility. He could be coming in. Yeah. And there's some talk of uh, Billy Gilmore going out as well that Napoli deal could still be on although you know he was involved at the weekend yeah I think the Gilmore deal can still happen despite McTominay heading over there fairly soon for a medical I know they're similar positions but I think Antonio Conte would take them both and there is scope to do both as well I think with Brighton a really uh, you know a very exciting left back um, that from Fenerbahce that you mentioned. I think he was on um, Arsenal's list as well before um, before they bolstered their their back line and, and looked elsewhere. So some really some really exciting signings at, at Brighton this summer. I think we are expecting a busy couple of days. I mean, it's going to be a mad Friday. We don't always say that. We often teams... There's a lot of teams that haven't done their business yet. Um, so I it's think it's going true, to be yeah. busy. I've been, to, I've been told mad Thursday. Oh, and then OK. Then Right, so yeah, get ready for strap in for Thursday. I think. Okay, terrific. Cheers, Mike. Thanks Thank you, so Mike. Much. Yeah. There's uh, Mad Mike Thursday. McGrath. Quiet Friday. From Quiet That's Friday. Nice. Well, you'll be open for a Quiet Friday, <laughs> won't you? Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, one till four on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.